recorded a song at the McGill Recording Studios last semester and I knew I wanted to do it again this semester and then I just had this crazy idea like what if I got as many percussionists as I could in the recording studio together and it was just this big crazy drum circle. <laughs> And then I thought, what if I took uh, those recordings from that session and sampled it and turned it into a hip hop song? I reached out to as many percussionists as I could. I play a uh, drum kit mostly, but I'm a passable guitarist as well. Once you get your technical skill up to a certain point, then you can add it. It's like you're just tapping into this like pre-conscious response, and so it's like this very like honest uh, output. I play cajon and I play other percussions. I love those beats, you know, like hip-hop beats. Like... I play taiko. Taiko? Yes. Yeah, so what's that? It's Japanese drumming. <laughs> Well, I watched for about two years and slowly I started to play and now it's been 27 years, so yeah. <laughs> I reached out to some audio engineers at McGill to help with um, getting the professional sounding recording. I am an audio engineer. I record lots of uh, music ensembles, uh, mostly music ensembles. The sonics of music are one of the most important aspects of what makes popular music interesting and what makes people care about songs. And so I take a lot of pleasure in getting to sculpt the actual sound of a, of a record or of a song or of a, a single. You have a lot of control over basically every aspect of what you hear. It's, it's a power trip. I enjoy that. I come to the session with a very rough template of just some electronic drums I made that were just very simple bare bones that I wanted the percussionist to improv off of. Like this is the simple theory point two. Okay, so that's for you guys. And so they're listening to that backing track in their headphones and they just played off from there. So after we recorded them, we recorded the shakers. They they were fine. The, the people I got for like the shakers and stuff, like they, they're more, they're mostly like McGill students. So like they're just a bunch of like goofy goofy people for the most part. But they're like really into it. So like it was it was cool. First, I took a section from the conga drums that I really liked, and I looped it. So just soloing it, it sounds like this. Next thing I'm gonna add here you see is the kick. So it's going bum 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 Then I've had the electronic snare, so bum 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 So now now it really starts to get bounced once you have the hi-hat. The hi hat adds a lot of bounce to it, for sure. Uh, <laughs> and then the, this is the, the big bass. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. I mean, I think what we're gonna go forward from here is I'm gonna still finish the song. We still have like some mixing to do. Then we're gonna add some, you know, rappers on top of it. And I think it should come out really cool. So I think it's definitely a great experiment and learning experience and super appreciative of everybody involved in the project.